Alpena, Michigan, which is like this part of the state. We've been kind of going and hugging Lake Michigan side. We've been going to the west side of the state a lot and we haven't really explored this side at all. So Visit Alpena actually invited Andrew and I out for a trip with a couple other photographers, travel writers, and bloggers. So should be fun. We have an action-packed weekend. I don't know what to expect. I think we're going to be paddle boarding and maybe even snorkeling in some shipwrecks in Lake Huron. So yeah, super stoked. We are on our way there and we're going to meet everybody at the hotel and I think we're taking a boat ride I think is first on the agenda. So yeah, super stoked. and we're about to load our stuff and head into the hotel. We got settled into the hotel and met up with everyone in the lobby and walked over to our first destination, where I found out that Michigan has an underwater national park. I had no idea, so don't worry if you didn't either, but Thunder Bay is a national marine sanctuary that is home to an estimated of 200 ships that lay at the bottom of Lake Huron. And the Lady Michigan glass bottom boat shipwreck tour takes you right over some of the best wrecks. After the boat tour, we got dinner and headed out to do some astrophotography at Rockport State Recreation Area, which was just recently named Michigan's newest dark sky park. I didn't film very much because it was pitch dark, but here are some of the photos that we got. into the water to a shipwreck. Are you ready, Andrew? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Are you ready, Matthew? I, Young Matthew Couch? I am very ready. All right, let's go. Heading out to shipwreck right over there. The wind basically shifted on us as we were paddling, and it was a lot rougher than we thought it would be. And you'll see once we make it to the shipwreck, it doesn't quite go as planned. Even 
Even though there was no visibility in the water, it was still such a fun experience to get up and paddle at sunrise on Lake Huron, and I already can't wait to go back and try it again in better conditions. We made a quick stop at the Bezer Museum and got to see their extensive art collection. Saw the largest publicly displayed Petoskey stone. Got a tour of an old fishing boat being restored. And took a walk through a historic village featuring old buildings from Alpina's early days. All right, and now we are kayaking at the Alpina Wildlife Sanctuary and Hopefully we see some wildlife. Oh, and also Andrew and I's first time in a tandem kayak. Lots of new water experiences this summer. We found some swans. sanctuary was super easy and relaxing and after a bit of a hectic paddle that morning a calm paddle was just what we needed on the last morning of the trip we ate breakfast at a really cool 1950s style boxcar diner Then we headed back out to Rockport to do some fossil hunting. And you're actually encouraged to take whatever fossils you find, so apparently they have plenty. And I was honestly blown away at how cool this park was during the day since we had only been there at night. Oh, and don't forget to climb up to the top of the hill. The views of Lake Huron are amazing and I just can't get enough of that watercolor. <laughs> Then we headed out to the old Presque Isle Lighthouse, which is actually the oldest accessible lighthouse on the Great Lakes. And then we made our way down the road to the new Presque Isle Lighthouse, which is actually the tallest accessible lighthouse on the Great Lakes. And our last stop of the trip before heading home was to check out a few sinkholes. Now, I didn't know this prior to, but there are over 200 sinkholes in the Alpena area. They're super hard to photograph, but you can hike to a few of them. Just make sure you don't enter the sinkholes or the earth cracks and just take your pictures from the trail. That's it for the Alpina trip. This was such an incredible trip. I seriously could not have asked for a better way to end the summer.
And huge shout out to Visit Alpina for hosting us on this trip. I'll leave a link down below to their website in case you guys want to get some resources if you want to plan your own trip. Shout out to all the other content creators that were there. Seriously, what an incredible group. It's always a pretty cool thing getting to meet people that do the same thing as you, especially in the same state. I created a blog post that has links to all the different people that were there and all of their work. I highly suggest going to check all of them out. And that blog post also has all of the locations and the logistics, as well as more photos from this entire trip. So hopefully if you guys want to plan your own trip to help that gives you some ideas. Oh, and major shout out to Mary Beth and Nicole from Visit Alpina for planning this entire weekend for us and for coming along with us on all of the adventures. We definitely will be back to Alpina, but for now, that's pretty much it for this video. We're heading out on our first fall road trip of the year in a couple of days, and I could not be more stoked. My favorite time of year is officially here. As you can see, it's beanie season. And yeah, we're actually gonna be going to two different states this fall, so stay tuned for those videos for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.